Hi guys, um, welcome back. This is um, me just doing a quick boot up of the Lynx 8 tablet, which um, I've unboxed already, um, as you might have seen in a previous video. Um, I'm just gonna have a bit of a side note quickly um, before I get on with this. Um, apologies if you've seen the awful contraption in the reflection of the screen in the previous video. Uh, at the moment, my only filming equipment is actually um, my smartphone, which is my Lumia 1520, which is great for, for, for casual camera usage if you're on a night out or having a laugh somewhere. Great, it's not really a professional piece of equipment. So A, apologies for the sound quality. B, apologies for the video quality. C, apologies for the focus going out sometimes. I can't control the autofocus on this bad boy from the angle where I am. Um, and well, the next one I suppose is apologies for the reflection of the setup. Um, you might have guessed, I've cable tied my phone to a lamp uh, so that I can have like a tripod because you can't get a smartphone tripod stand which has seems to have a wide enough holder for a 1520 um so yeah so i've cable tied it um <laughs> to a lamp so yeah apologies if you see that on reflection and it looks really neat cheap and nasty but uh hey i'm not a pro um i'm just just doing this for a bit of fun so yeah let's go on with it so yeah so here we've got the lynx 8 tablet um sorry for the screen glare one of the things i have noticed is it's not a very matte screen at all it's quite glossy um, so we do get a lot of uh, a lot of reflections from the light up here in my loft room um, so just boot it on um, power button on the side so we'll just hold that down for a second um, this is where we find out whether or not links charge it before yes they do leave some uh, charge in the device um, when they manufacture it so yeah so let's try, let's try and get a, as less glare as possible I think that's going to be your best angle probably for less glare if I go that way we're going to see my awful phone so um so it's booting up um with the Lynx logo there and the classic little dot swirly things that we get on Windows these days. Um uh, what you can see from the front here is the front facing camera at the top there. Um two megapixel um if you didn't watch the last video. Um ah, we're on the setup screen. Right, I'm just gonna take the screen protector off. Um I've probably made it a million times more glossy by doing that. I do apologise. Um, so yeah, so let's get on with it. So um, region and language um, is where it takes you on the Windows startup at first. UK is default, so that's good. It's got my time frames all right. So on the next page, um, license terms. I'm sure if I don't accept it, I won't get very far. So it's gonna go for a few basics. It's gonna ask me to personalize the device first. So if you've never set up a Windows computer, they or Windows 8 and onwards, they all start like this now. Um, so they take you through step by step in a nice, easy to use um, manner. Um, I've got to admit, I quite like it. Um, so yeah, so it wants me to pick a color scheme. Um, at first, do you know what? Let's leave it default for the color. Um, I would go to green, it's my favorite color, but my surface is green and all that kind of stuff. So maybe I'll have this one a little bit differently. Um, give it a PC name. So when it's on my network at home, we can see the devices and whatnot. Um, I am gonna call this, um, I don't know, well, I suppose, well, Varanus, that's my gamer tag, and the YouTube name, and I can't type, I'm not used to typing on this smaller keyboard on a tablet, I guess, Varanus 261 dash, now I always have my devices with the model number at the end, so um, I guess this one, dash links 8, make it nice and confusing for whenever I'm looking for that. Right, cool. So on to the next page. Um, our PC name is too long or is invalid characters. Well, that's a different one. Let's just go links. See if that's next. Right. There we go. I don't want an eight on the end there. Right, cool. So it's going to ask me to get online. So um, I'll just select my Wi-Fi network and type in my password. Cool. It's just connecting. Awesome. I think we're on there now. So right. Um, express settings. I'll just use those for now. Um, I believe customize. You can do it so by default it doesn't connect to the web and whatnot. Um, so the first thing it's going to ask you to do is sign in with your Microsoft account as well. So. For those of you who don't know, Microsoft account is much like an Apple ID. Every Microsoft device that you have. Um, this account logged into, it syncs all your information, be it contacts, calendar, 
um, photos and stuff to OneDrive. Um, Windows 8 devices, um, they sync stuff like your desktop settings, web browser settings and all that kind of stuff across the board. Um, Windows 10, that's going to get a little bit more in depth as well. Um, but yeah, so basically I'm just going to take a moment just to sign this in as well. Um, so it links to the rest of my stuff, um, which is always good. Um, what I don't want it to do is sync with, um, oh, I'm writing in capital letters, um, is sync with my Surface backgrounds and stuff because I quite like this device to be a little bit more individual and a little bit more customised but I don't mind if it does at first because um, I can tinker with it later on. Um, this is taking me longer than I expected because I'm chatting. Right. So signing in. Um, help us protect your info. How would you like to receive your code? Um, uh, now <laughs> So when you sync your data down from another Windows device, um, in recent updates, it asked us to do like some kind of two-step verification and it will text me. Yeah, it's going to text me a code, which is on the phone, which is filming right now. I knew I should have used a different phone to do this. Um, <laughs> right, cool. So it's got an option to say, I can't do this at this time. So I'm going to select that. And I guess that means it's not going to restore any info from from my Microsoft account right now, um, which doesn't doesn't matter too much, um, as this is more just an overview for you guys. Right, so how should we set up your PC? Um, let's have a look. Copy your settings and Windows Store apps from another PC or set this up as a new PC. To protect you, we won't transfer any info from your old PC until we're sure that it's really you. Please go back and complete the previous step to, right, okay, so, I can basically, I can't choose the other one anyway because I didn't confirm it was me with the code. So I'll set this up as a new PC instead, but I'm not going to sync my start screen layout because I want this to have different um, apps and, and set up stuff from what my, my desktop does and from what my Surface does, just because I'm going to use them for slightly different things, I guess, in the end. Um, so OneDrive is your cloud storage, your camera roll and PC settings all might be backed up to OneDrive. Do I want these two? Yes, that's fine. We'll we'll go with that. Um, I, I'm not going to use it as a as a DSLR, am I? It's a two megapixel, sixty quid tablet. Um, one thing we'll say. Sorry, I paid sixty nine pounds for this. Um, you will find most places at eighty nine, ninety nine pounds for this particular model. Um, but if you're happy, if you if you're happy to search around, sometimes you find a voucher or a code, which I did for online shopping to get it a little bit cheaper. Um, or you might get cash back. I believe Staples in the UK recently had a really good, uh, really good offer on these at the, uh, recently. So yeah. Um, so while that's setting up, um, let's go back to the main device system again. So I've just got your camera and whatnot. Um, micro SD card. Um, I haven't got a spare one at the moment, but I've got 32 gigs in memory in this. Um, I have ordered another uh, micro SD card because all of mine are in other devices at the moment. Um, so I'll be whacking a 64 gig. Um, card in in this device um, just to bump up storage media and whatnot on there um, I don't know what I'll put on it yet but we'll see um, so while this is booting up um, as you can see it tells me that I can get new apps from the store um, installing your apps right now um, the Windows Store um, is a little bit lacking in applications but I think it doesn't matter quite so much when you've got a Windows tablet because really, a lot of people, when they've got these Windows tablets, what they're looking for is to replace their, their laptop out and about with something that can do desktop applications, use things like Word. Um, so I don't think the fact that it's not got all the Android apps or the iPad apps, iPad apps on here is as much of an issue. I think if you want a device more for for those kind of things, I think you'd, you'd get like a Nexus 7 or an iPad mini or something like that. Um, with the, the Lynx 8, I think it's more of a device, a bit more of a specialist one, so it's for that person that wants access to Word out and about, despite the small screen. Um, and they're most commonly used desktop applications, which you can't get on like mobile devices like Android and iPad devices. Um, I think the key message is, this is a mini computer, the others are big mobile phones. I think that's what the main difference is. Um, not slating them, um, they've got great benefits, but I think if you're looking at this video then you kind of know what you want in a tablet that you want something that's a little bit more flexible a little bit more productive or you just want a gadget where you can really play with 
Um, one thing I do want to do is install Steam on this um, and give it a real run for its money um, and what it can, what games it can run. Um, hook up an Xbox controller to it maybe um, and see how we go. Um, I've mentioned before, Hearthstone's one thing I want to try with this. I'll probably get a video up of that. Um, I want to try and push my luck with something stupid like uh, COD or something like that. Um, I might even put something kind of like an, some older uh, games on there, like maybe uh, Halo Combat Evolved. Um, yeah, stuff like that. So we'll give it a bit of a push. I'm not going to do Minecraft because I've seen on YouTube that there's already a lot of stuff with Minecraft already. Um, so yeah. But yeah, this is taking a little bit longer than I expected, I'm not going to lie, but I guess it is for Windows installing itself. Still telling not to turn off. Um, yeah, maybe we'll uh, we'll come back to this when it's, uh, yeah, when it's got there, maybe. Hmm, really is taking a while. Yep. This is that kind of moment when uh, when you wish you could play on your phone to pass the time. But no, I've done some dodgy construction. Oh, almost ready. Almost. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure of Microsoft's definition of almost. But it's certainly not the same as mine. My God, this fingerprint's easy. And ta-da. So finally, it booted up. I'd probably say the process was around about, well, it's probably about five or six minutes, really, or maybe a minute or two longer. Um, in the grand scheme of things, it wouldn't have taken so long. Um, well, it wouldn't have felt like it took so long if I hadn't been sat here waiting for it. So, um, yeah, so it started up. Um, as you can see, as soon as you boot in, you've got your Windows tiles and whatnot. As you do with 8, love them or hate them, they're there, live with them, they're still going to be there in Windows 10. Um, so yeah, um, you've got your tile interface, and I've got to admit, this is as snappy as what my Surface RT is. Uh, I know my RT is old, but still. Um, in fact, it might even seem a little bit smoother, but I think that, whoops, I think that might be because it's on a smaller, uh, smaller display. Um, so yeah, so if you slide to the side, you can see your tiles. You can obviously you can move these around as you can in Windows 8. Um, and yeah, so if I slide up from the bottom, you'll find all of your apps installed on here. Um, these are obviously all Metro apps. A lot of these are most commonly used apps, um, but you do have more in it. If you go into the uh, File Explorer, obviously you'll find more in there. Um, but yeah, um, you can search at the top here um, and you just hit the Windows key at the bottom here to go back to the beginning. And so yeah, that's, um, that's what it was like. Um, as you may have noticed, um, I have got on the back there just an image from Jurassic World, big Jurassic Park geek here. Um, at the back there, I thought it was nice. It looks better on my desktop monitor. It doesn't look great when you bring it through down onto the uh, onto this little tablet, but hey-ho. Um, screen quality itself, um, it's not 1080p. You can kind of tell, I guess. Um, but really, this is more than adequate for this is more than adequate for his little little tablet of this price and this size. Um, I suppose the best thing to do would us to open the web browser and see what the see what the video quality is like. Um, so we've got Internet Explorer. So this is the Metro version of Internet Explorer, um, which I do like. Um, it's nice and easy to use. Um, let's go on to let's, uh, yeah go on to YouTube. Um, I've been on that recently by the looks of it. Um, so let's find a decent video. Well, I'll tell you what, you know what's fitting. As you've seen, my geeky love for it already. Um, Jurassic World Super Bowl trailer. Now, I've got to admit, this is all very smooth so far. The web browsing is just as nice as most mobile devices. Um, it's It renders nice and quickly for the... For the it's, it's, it's just working. Um, I'm really impressed with so let's just have a look at um, here we go so Jurassic World official Super Bowl TV spot um, we'll see what the speakers are like I guess as well despite not being uh, recorded with a, a brilliant device um, right so let's rotate it into a landscape mode fingers crossed the video starts soon so we haven't got to look at the nice reflection oh what's it doing 
play. No? Well, this is good. Got Wi Fi signal. Volume is up 100%. So, I'll tell you what, we'll have a look at that in a moment. It could just be my network connection, you never know. Let's see if I can get into the store and download a, an app from here for video to get an idea of the quality. So, the Windows Store, not amazing. It's not got everything under the sun, but there are some real gems in there if you do find it. Um, one that I like to use um, for, for uh, Windows devices is MetroTube. Um, I assume it's still going to be, yes, it's still here. I haven't, I haven't re-downloaded it, had to re-download it for a while. It's been on my RT for ages. Um, good app just to, just for, you know, video searches and playback. Um, you can manage your account to an extent. You can view uploads and whatnot, but uh, don't need to worry about that. So I've hit install. It's installed in MetroTube. Um, it's downloaded nice and quick. Um, I haven't got fiber or anything, um, unfortunately. So, uh, a bit of a let down there right that's downloaded so i'll close the the app store um and we should find it okay so it doesn't put it on your tiles automatically um it must put it in your app list so metro tube again sorry about the reflection and the glare guys um right wow so it's remembered everything about me from my other device which thanks very much so um let's just do a quick search for Jurassic World again. I did not realise that Metro Tube did that. That is quite impressive. So Jurassic World official trailer. Yeah, let's play. Get the volume up, which I think it already is. I'm really proud of you for going on this trip. Uh, what so much quality have we got? Uh, quality, HD, not full HD. Remember, right, you. it's fluid so far. Really good quality, actually. I mean, it's not going to be picked up amazingly by the uh, by my smartphone camera. Audio is loud. I have got it maxed out at one hundred percent. So I've any distortion. Not a single bit of stutter at all, um, which is nice. This is what I wanted. Let's just skip forward to a bit more. Probably not a good idea. Oh, I didn't do the Super Bowl one in the end, did I? Evacuate the island. She's a highly intelligent animal. Can't wait for this film. Cool, we've got an idea for the video quality anyway. So yeah, so um, multitasking wise, so what have we got open now? Um, so if we look down the side, I've got about four apps open now. I mean, they're only Metroid apps, they're not gonna be too in intensive at all. Um, but yeah, it's still running smooth with that. The UI for Windows 8 or 8.1, whatever you wanna call it, um, is ever so smooth, um, to be fair, considering, I have to keep saying it, considering it's Windows, because have not got the best track record of a smooth OS when running on low-end hardware. So, um, but no, with this, I'm really impressed. It's fluid, it's fast. Um, can't wait now to start installing some other stuff on it and uh, see how it goes. So, a couple of things we're going to put on there, like I said earlier, was Steam. Um, yeah, so I'll put, some, put Steam on there, try and get some games running, hook up a controller to it, see how that plays. Um, and Hearthstone, I want to see how smooth that is because this will probably become one of those devices just for Hearthstone on the sofa maybe. Don't know, but we'll definitely put it through our paces. Um, if you've got any questions about the device um, or anything related to it, then feel free to comment below. Um, really appreciate it if you hit the like button, guys, if this video has been any use to you. Um, but yeah, so far looks good. Um, and uh, keep your eyes peeled. Um, I might have some more updates on the way on this device soon. See ya.